Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to integrate this admin dashboard into our project. So we are in the Laravel 9. So we are going to integrate it into our Laravel 9 application. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to install the fresh installation of Laravel and then we need to ready the basic scaffolding. So I have already installed this project and I named this uh, real estate so i'm creating this uh, for my client so that's why i name this real estate so you can name it whatever you want and then i have also prepared the um, basic uh, uh, scaffolding with the laravel ui so you can use jetstream or inertia so it's uh, basically it's uh, your personal preference right so if you don't know how to install the laravel ui package so you can check the check out my video where i explained that how you can install this laravel ui package so you can also uh, check out from the documentation that how you can install the laravel ui package right so i am using this admin lte so let me close this out so because i opened it here right so i'm going to integrate this into our application so let me open the project directory so this is the our theme directory where our, our theme is located and this is the asset directory of our theme so we are going to first uh, add the asset into our project so let's uh, copy this uh, asset directory and let's go to the our application so our application name is real estate so there is two ways to integrate the asset into your project the first one is you are going to integrate you are going to add this into the resources and then you are going to compile these assets using uh, let me go to the project and here this webpack then you are going to add them here and then you are going to compile them and add them into the public directory so i'm not going to do this because we have a lot of files and we are going to simply add them and you know, by using another method so what is the another method so Another method is we are going to directly paste our asset into our public directory, right? So we need to create the asset directory here and then we are going to add our files here, right? So I think we already have this uh, asset directory, so I'm not going to add this again. So let's uh, paste this one. So I have pasted these assets and uh, now these assets are here, right? So in the assets, I'm going to add uh, two ones, uh, two directories. The first one is admin, right? So I'm naming this auth. And then second one is for user or you can name this website or whatever, which is according to your project. So I'm naming this auth and then I'm going to move all the files into auth because this is the admin assets right so we need to make them separate because when our project is going bigger so we need to, uh, we can easily differentiate between that uh, what are our auth assets and what are our website or user asset right so i'm uh, copying this and moving them into the auth directory and yes these are moved and now the time is to uh, go to this uh, file this is the uh, index.html so let me open this uh, in the project so this one is the uh, index.html so let's open this into new text editor so i'm going to use the uh, sublime to open this index.html right so i paste it here and now i'm going to first create a layout so let's go to the project and let's click on this resources and then click on this views so when you install the laravel ui package so i install this laravel ui package so this layout directory will be added into your views directory this one right and here you are going to uh, use your layout name so i'm going i'm naming this auth because we can use uh, another layout so that's why i'm not, i'm not going to add this into app directory because we are using multiple layouts user layouts website layout and stuff like that so i'm naming this uh, auth.blade.php right so here i'm going to add my all of the stuff from this uh, from this file right so let me check the video size so i'm not going to make this uh, too much longer for you okay let's go here and uh, paste this here so we are going to uh, create a master layout and then we are going to render it into our other pages right so let's go to the top and uh, we are going to in the next video we are going to set these paths 
said we are going to set these dynamic path according to this assets directory so i will meet you in the next one bye bye